minutes, 40 seconds from touchdown. 60,000 feet, Mach 1.4. They're very close to uh, coming through Mach 1. I imagine you know, the coyotes out on the desert will, will hear that shortly. Mm -hmm. So will we, I hope. <laughs> Everything looking good at Mach 1 at 50,000 feet, range 27 miles. If you're wondering where that picture comes from, it comes from one of the so-called chase planes that they have observing the spacecraft, now an airplane, as it returns from space. We're just about uh, at the place where the <coughs> chase planes will try to join on the shuttle, come up very close. That's, a, that's always a tough job, tough piloting job. Today, uh, Dick Covey will be the guy that is assigned that task. Point nine and speed brakes going to 100% now. Three and a half minutes from touchdown. 38,000 feet. Range 20 miles. Of course, uh, the shuttle will be making a right turn in. So we'll see. Him. There it is going overhead. Feet. You know, you have, Everything to, looking good. you have to pinch yourself and remind uh, that, that about half an hour ago, 45 minutes ago, that was way up in space. Now, That's good. right. It uh, dropped a long way, 130 so mile drop. Huh? 13 miles range. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Turning right now into runway 17. They're in the right turn at 20, feet. to, uh, in a moment, straight now to be lined up at the landing runway. Range 10 miles. <clears throat> From Houston winds, 190 at 1-4. Quick to go. That was the sonic boom. Out of 15,000 feet. Go for auto to enter glide Go for auto at 12,000 feet. Okay, we're on auto, Houston. Columbia, now in auto land. Out of 10,000 feet at 288. And trail. Roger. Five thousand feet. Airspeed two eighty. Range about three miles. Roger. Feet. Airspeed 292. Still in auto. Comes the gear. Gear down. 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 Well, there it is, man. <laughs> I guess we all ought to applaud. 
That was a great flight. The, the great mission lapse time of touchdown uh, unofficially, eight days, zero hours, four minutes, 49 seconds. That was by far the longest flight for the shuttle to date, about uh, four times longer than any previous flight. Yep. Eight hours, eight days, four minutes, and 49 seconds. 129, and I guess about two-thirds way around the world. At an altitude of 150 miles up in space. And they had their problems that they overcame every one of them, including a problem that was produced by nature, high winds, rains, and they overcame those. There it is, all beat up. When you look at a spacecraft like that, as I have uh, in person a couple of times before, there are burns okay, along it. And it looks like a pretty okay, used Columbia, piece of equipment. Home. That was a beautiful job. I think there's stains across it, uh, in particular from the entry, that you can notice mm -hmm. uh, things like that. But it won't uh, take them very long to turn it around and have it ready to go again. That's right. Well, it was worth the wait. It's beautiful weather out there today, isn't it? Now, the astronauts will be in there for quite some time because there are... 